Soil Super Stakes. We just had the Amateur Classic decided and we had two winners, Langston Patello and Jim Van Gilder. Both of them joined me now. Congratulations to you, fellas. Thank you. Okay, so we're going to talk to Langston first. You were the first to lay down that 221. Yes, ma'am. What were you thinking after that run? I was pretty happy. <laughs> um, I thought it was good, just um, I didn't really know, honestly. Okay, you're 16. Yes, ma'am. Um, that's a pretty good age to win a major title in the Will Rogers. What does this mean to you? A lot. Um, I don't know. I've, always wanted, I've never been interviewed uh, before, so that's his now. Is this more nerve-wracking than the actual run? Probably. <laughs> so can you describe your run to us? Tell us which cows you decided to choose or you, you cut and what they were like to, to actually stay on. Um, my first cow, I'm trying to think which one I cut. Um, yeah, you, you did have two runs today. Yeah. <laughs> um, cher I think it was a Cherry Mont, and um, it was a good cow, and then so it was good, so I stayed on it for a while, and then got off of that one, and then um, he was being good, and then my second cow, I'm trying to think which one I cut. Maybe the uh, red, uh, red top gray cow or something like that. And it was a good cow, and so then at the very end, we just wanted to finish up, you know, and stay clean. And um, my help, you know, they really uh, helped me get through it, you know, and taught me and um, kept me going. Do you help choose your cows? Yes, ma'am. So what do you look for in a good cow? Um, one that is alert and stays away from you, but also, you know, gentle and not fast, you know. Okay, and that's really helping you make a good competitor, obviously. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so tell us about the horse that you won on. Um, trained by Kenny Platt? Yes, ma'am. And he's um, real swoopy and uh, stops good and all that, and uh, real pretty gilding. Um, I like him a lot, and uh, you know he, he's cowy and raised the cow good. I just like him. Did you just get this horse? Yes, ma'am. I bought him. I bought him like a week or two ago. That's a good formula then? Yes, ma'am. Uh, and you had um, a few horses later, you came out and rode um, another horse, also trained by Kenny Platt. Tell us about that. And you've got second, actually, technically third on this because you've got the tie. Yes, ma'am. That's a great effort. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, he was good. He was just, he'd been showing all week and just getting a little tired, you know. And the, uh, he, was, he was good though. I was proud of him. You've had a very busy show because I know you've made at least three finals. How have you been keeping up with all this? And tell us what your secret is because you've been very successful. There's really no secret, just um, I'm kind of impressed myself because I've never been, never been able to do this before, but I'm pretty happy with everyone. Okay. Well, good luck with your future events and thanks for joining us. Thank you. Thanks, Langston. Now we're going to go over to Jim. Just a couple of horses later, you came out. Uh, when, once the 221 had been set, what was your strategy? I had a clean run. That's, that's all I wanted to do, just uh, not make any mistakes. Try not to make any mistakes. So how did you feel your run went? Well, pretty fast and uh, pretty difficult, actually. Um, but, you know, I had no idea when I walked out what the score would be. Really. Okay, and describe your cows to us. Well, if I can remember correctly, <clears throat> I think the first one was a red horn cow with eyebrows, and um, it was uh, it was over on Corey's side, and you know, we brought it up the outside and finally got it cut. Uh, the second cow was supposed to, was a silver cow, and when I, I couldn't find it, I, I had a hard time finding it. There was two or three cows that looked very similar, and uh, Matt was trying to tell me where it was at, and um, he, it, it finally went up towards the outside, and, and I was able to get it cut. Now, Jim, you're no stranger to winning in here. How does it oh, feel to win now? It's been a long time. Uh, <clears throat> but, it, you know, this, it, this pen is probably the, the easiest pen in the world to cut in. And uh, it feels really comfortable to be here. I showed up in Graham a few uh, weeks ago, and I've shown in Silverado since. And <clears throat> those pens are pretty tough to, to cut cows in and to, and to show in. But, I, this place makes me really comfortable. And yet still intimidating sometimes people. Well, yeah, I mean, it's not, it's not easy. Yeah. But it's, you have good help here, and, and you know, generally the cows are decent, and uh, it's well lit, and, and, it's just, it's just, and it's big enough. It's an easy place to cut. So having had that break, how long away from cutting were you? 
uh, almost 10 years, uh, I showed in uh, Super Stakes in 2009, the last time. So what brought you back? Uh, <laughs> same reason I left. My, uh, I, I got out of cutting because I had a daughter who was going to go into the sixth grade. Uh, she's now uh, in her second year of college, and uh, <clears throat> she had, uh, she's got a job, and she's in school, and doesn't have time to, to show horses, so uh, we've got these horse, horses at home in the stall, and I figured I needed it. Yeah, I didn't want them to go to waste, so I decided to come back and try it again. So what has changed in that 10 years? I think the cattle have changed a great deal. Um, it's much harder to cut them now than it was as I recall, back uh, 10 years ago. Uh, we don't work as many fresh cows at, at home. Um, other than that, it's pretty much the same, I think. There's a few rule changes, you know, but generally about the same. Okay, tell us about your horse tonight. Uh, it's a smoothest cat gelding. <clears throat> uh, we purchased that horse actually from my daughter, Grace, uh, back in the fall, I think, August or September. Uh, and then once school started, she determined that she didn't have time to come show, so uh, I sort of inherited him. Um, and I hadn't really ridden him or showed, I, I showed him for the first time at Grand. Uh, we got along well there, and I showed him five times here, and uh, each time we seemed to uh, just get more in sync. So uh, he and I are, uh, I think, uh, working really well together right now. Okay, and Matt Gaines is your trainer now. What, does he, what advice does he give you that uh, when, you, when you go out and show? He just tells me to follow my instinct. Um, he tells me I know what to do and just, just uh, uh, not, not to overthink it. Just, just go and follow my instincts. Some good advice. Thanks for joining us. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, the two winners from the Amateur Classic Championship at the Super Stakes. Plenty more cutting today. Another final tonight, so stay tuned on the live CHC webcast.